Season 174 of the ukulele is Silly Love Songs, and this is my love song that I wrote to my new ukulele. It's a chili pepper uke. It's awesome. Isn't it adorable? So, last week I was at the Ukulele World Congress, which is this amazing gathering of hundreds of ukulele players in a field in the middle of nowhere in Indiana, outside of Nashville, Indiana, the other Nashville, which is the home of mainland ukuleles. Uh, and the event is run by Mainland Mike of Mainland Ukuleles and his lovely wife Tukta. They uh, do a ton of work for this thing. It's amazing. It's amazing. If you haven't been there, you should be there next year. It's going to be incredible. It's just phenomenal. Everything you would expect of hundreds of ukulele players gathered in a field together with no very little agenda and just lots of ukes and people and fun. So, it is customary for many of us who go there to, at some point, pay a visit to mainland ukuleles in town and, uh, you know, pay them back in one way or another for all the fabulous work they do. So many of us buy stuff there. I was not intending to buy any more ukuleles. I was going to buy a t-shirt. But I went into town for the flash mob, the ukulele flash mob, with the very enterprising young 10-year-old Lucas and his folks, Chris the Barber and Jessica, friends of mine. And uh, so we all went in together to the flash mob and then we went to pay a visit to mainland ukuleles. Now Lucas wanted to buy himself a chili pepper uke. They sell them for, they were 30 bucks for adults and 25 for the young folks who are uh, purchasing their first ukuleles. Now Lucas wanted to buy one and so he, very enterprising young man, gathered geodes in the creek that are very plentiful there at the field where we were and sold them to other ukulele players who did not want to take the time to go collect their own. Big Daddy Uger bought a few and uh, Lucas made enough money not only to buy himself a chili pepper uke but also a t-shirt at the t-shirt shop in town. So we went into mainland ukes so that Lucas could buy his uke. And the moment he picked it up and showed it to me, I thought, oh my goodness, that's just the cutest thing. I have to have one too. So we both bought them there. And as we were buying our ukes, I, I looked toward the door and an even smaller boy, who turned out to be six-year-old Niall, was leaving, also having just bought a chili pepper uke. And so when we got back to camp, I was sitting there with my new uke by my side and little Niall walks by with his and he had not seen us buying ours we saw I saw him he didn't see us he's walking by and he sees my uke and he's looking like he can't believe it he's looking at my uke he's looking back at his so I called him over we made friends and then a short while later they took the uh, annual group photo of all the hundreds of ukulele players at UWC the picture, I don't know how they're even going to fit it in, in one photo next year. It's huge. It's getting huger every year. And so the three of us sat together, Niall, Lucas, and me, and we all sat together and held up our chili pepper uke. So if you look in uh, this year's Ukulele World Congress 7, if you look in this year's group photo and you look all the way to the left, you'll see the three of us there side by side with our chili pepper ukes. And, um, before that happened, shortly after we arrived back at camp, um, this beautiful design was designed by Captain Love Handles, who you may know. He does a lot of, uh, he's also a euchre and an owner of a chili pepper uke himself. And um, he does some lovely uh, ukulele related art that you may have seen and uh, also performs. And so he was there at the very next campsite to mine, visiting my neighbor, Harmonica Bruce. And so Lucas and I went over there and we got him to sign our ukuleles. So he signed mine inside, it says, I'm spicy. And uh, Lucas says, hot baby. And uh, so I promised the two boys, Niall and Lucas, because they're brand new ukulele players, just starting to learn. So I promised them I would write us a song and we could play together on our Chili Pepper Ukes when we meet again at the end of the summer at the Ohio Ukulele Camp Out, which is kind of a much smaller version of the uh, UWC. We're going to meet again. So I promised I would write a song with simple chords in the key of C, C, F, and G, so that we could play it together. And uh, I think that's everything you need to know to understand my song. 
And uh, this is this is my song, Chili Pepper Uke. In honor of the Chili Pepper Uke. It goes like this. Chili Pepper Uke, my Chili Pepper Uke. Oh, how I love my Chili Pepper Uke. Chili Pepper Uke, my Chili Pepper Uke. Oh, how I love my Chili Pepper Uke. Lucas and I went to Mainland. We wanted to buy the Chili Pepper Uke. He made lots of money selling lots of geodes to other ukulele players at GWC. When we got there, and I was already there buying himself the Chili Pepper Uke. I didn't get the last one, I got pretty close to the last one. But maybe if you ask, you make more, I don't know. You're 